email 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.1, number 53, and we were asked to graph these four parabolas on the same set of axes and just answer the question, what appears to be if the effect of adding or subtracting those numbers? So here's my parent function, x squared, and then you can see I have an x minus 2, an x minus 3, and an x plus 4. So the question's asking us, what does this subtraction of 2, subtraction of 3, and subtraction of 4 due to our parabolas. So I went ahead and I graphed them. I didn't use my graphing calculator this time. I just thought I'd use a, a fun little um, computer program, but th there you see my four parabolas. So here, if I start to color code these, let me, let me go ahead and erase all of this, but let's color code these. So here's the red parabola, right? You see it, the, I would call it the parent function of x squared. All right, and then we have x minus 2 squared. If I'm going to go ahead and I'll put that one in yellow. Nope, just kidding. I won't put that one in yellow. It looks like I put it in green. My bad. So I'll put that in green. All right, so for x minus 2, ah, that is not the best drawing. Here is x minus 2 squared. And then we have x minus 3, which I will put in blue. All right, so x minus 3 is right here. And then last but not least, now this one's in yellow for f of x equaling x plus 4. And like I said, I would just graph these on your graphing calculator, and you would be able to see this play out. But here's my parent function, right? There's the vertex at the origin. And let's start looking at where these ver vertices move. So I have x minus 2 squared. You can see the vertex has moved two units right. And we talked about this back in Chapter 3, that when you subtract something, inside the grouping symbols, it's gonna shift you left and right. And, and that's exactly what's happening. If you look at this, this was minus three, right? And look at the vertex now is down here at three zero, right? That one has been shifted three units, right? And then we have this x plus four. And if you look at that, that's been shifted four units. That vertex is over there. That is four units left. And that's technically because if you have something like x, oh, I hate when that happens. Let me erase that. When you have something like x minus h, if you look at this, our vertex is now negative 4, all right, which gets us to that x plus 4. So that's why it's always counterintuitive inside those grouping symbols, all right, because technically you're subtracting a negative, and that's why you see the plus 4. But really, ultimately, whenever you have addition or subtraction inside those grouping symbols, you have a horizontal shift. You're moving left or right. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.